Show Mixed is presented to you by Docomo Pacific, Better Together, and Pepsi. That's what I like. Welcome back, everybody. Next up, we have Tyler Matanani, who joined our friends at the Guam Army National Guard for their 11B Follow Me recruitment drive. Come and check it out. So we're having the 11B Follow Me event. Uh, it's a recruiting drive to try and fill our infantry battalion. What are some of the things that are going to be happening today? Uh, so as you can see behind me, we have an obstacle course set up. So we're going to have them run through that event. Uh, within that event, we have some of uh, the physical um, trainings that we have in our UPT test. So they're going to be able to uh, get a feel of what that's like. And then uh, we also have uh, in one of our classrooms our EST, which is a simulator of our uh, M4 system. So they're going to get a chance to get on the weapon systems and, and try it out. I have to hit the target. <laughs> So throughout the course, uh, toward the end, we're going to have them employ hand grenades. Um, so there's a target out there that they're going to try to acquire and then try to hit it with a grenade. From here, we're also going to move up. We're going to have them try out uh, the MREs. Uh, those ready to eat. And then from there, uh, we have our infantry battalion that's going to take over during the afternoon portion. Uh, they have vehicles set up, uh, tactical vehicles, and then also the weapon systems. And then they're going to conduct a react to contact demo from there. How intense is this compared to the real thing? Uh, so they're just getting a small scale of it. Uh, of course, you know, it, it kind of scale it down. We don't want anyone to get hurt. Safety is our number one priority. Um, but it is, it is uh, definitely challenging if you're using full battle rattle, um, having all your equipment on and, and carrying your combat equipment makes it more difficult. I feel my heart beat. Yeah. That's way harder than I thought it was going to be. I think what really screwed me up was when I went straight from the bouncy house to the bar. Oh, we have to pull 90 pounds. I'm exerting so much energy. Right when we got to the crawl area, game over. I thought I was going to pass out. I feel like I'm going to pass out. Before we send off people to basic training, we have our recruit sustainment program, which uh, I'm glad to mention, proud to mention, that we are number one in the nation. We have the number one program. Um, so that program is designed to prep our warriors before they head off to basic training and BIT. So they have a little bit of a head start. Um, over active duty and reserve soldiers. Sure. You know, we've done it in the past, but it's been quite a few years uh, since we've had it. Um, and, you know, COVID and everything, so we're, we're just trying to get back into the, the, the group of things and, and hoping that we can get a good turnout from this. If you are interested in joining uh, the Guam Army National Guard, you can call uh, either one of our storefront offices, so GCIC at 477-5957 or the Camacho Landmark Center office at 969-5957. Uh, my official cell number is 929-6134. Again, I'm Master Sergeant Guzman. Um, if the National Guard is something that you feel that you might want to uh, consider, give us a call. We'd be glad to help you. Thanks a lot, Tyler. That definitely looked like a lot of fun, especially since she got to handle an assault rifle. Seems pretty fun. Next up, we have Isaiah Uggen and Hannah Devonzo learning the art of beekeeping and how to harvest honey. Mixed is presented to you by Docomo Pacific, Better Together, and Pepsi. That's what I like.